Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Aishin and welcome to a new video on my channel, The Evolution of IO Games. Throughout the years, there have been many popular IO games and they've had their ups and downs, but at this point, a lot of people playing games know what these types of games are. This is pretty much an extension of my top 10 IO games of 2019 video, which you guys really enjoyed. So make sure to slap a like on this video, yo. Let's go for 700 likes and I will, of course, link that video in the description if you want to check it out. I will be covering the first IO game ever released, which will probably surprise you all the way up until re in popular games and i'm gonna be skipping over some that you probably want in this video so let me know in the comment section down below what those games are if any of them that i missed that you think should be in this video but i can't cover every single io game because you know there's hundreds of them but i'm gonna be covering my viewpoint of the history of io games this game right here cursors.io this is the game that started the entire io trend Okay, I'm just gonna stop. That's a lie, but this is the first ever IO game. It has been out since 2014, and it's actually so old that I can't even find the exact release date, but I do know 2014 is a fact it has been out since then in this game you have to go through a bunch of different mazes and every single time you complete one you move on to the next level and there's a bunch of other people in the game as well and all they are are cursors which is pretty weird like you can tell this is an older game you know the graphics aren't the best but that's not what matters okay this is a pretty cool game although cursors.io never led to the io genre becoming popular soon another game would on april 28th 2015 agario first surfaced the web within a few months agario became massive millions and millions of people around the world were playing it every day tons of youtubers such as people like pewdiepie were making videos on it it was overall just a really fun simple browser game that tons of people could access and it quickly rose to become one of the most popular browser games of all time agario was officially the catalyst for future io games and this would basically determine years of development of multiple Multiple games that some of them became very popular as well i'm kind of just assuming everyone knows how to play agario already but in case you don't how this game works is you start off as a very small cell and the goal is to grow bigger by eating smaller cells than yourself and rising to the top of the leaderboards now a lot of people probably speculated that a browser game like agario would never blow up so fast ever again well <laughs> They were wrong, for whoever thought that, yo, because in 2016, on March 25th, Slither.io came out, which peaked higher than Agario. I have seen Slither's rise and fall since day one, and it was really surprising for me. I was just amazed at how quickly a game could blow up. Players really enjoy the simple concept and the tricks you could do in this game by basically eating other snakes until you become the number one person on the leaderboard. Yes, Slither.io blew up more than Agario. It peaked much quicker at a much higher rate. It had a significant amount of players more than Agario at its highest point, but it also fell quicker. It was not very substantial. Agario lasted for at least a year or two where it was pretty popular, but Slither was only popular for around six months at the maximum. Following these two very viral games in the IO community, Agario and Slither on April 15th, 2016, Dieppe.io came out. I think that there's two very interesting things about this game. One, this was developed by the same developer as Agario. And two, that this was substantially more complicated than Agario and Slither. In Dieppe.io, you're a tank and you're fighting against a bunch of other tanks in multiple game modes. You could do team mode, maze, FFA. And what you have to do is basically not die and become number one. There are tons of different tank upgrades and upgrades for your tank, like basically speed, bullet damage, and stuff like that. On paper, there's a lot more you have to memorize for this game in order to play it, and a lot more to know compared to a game like Agario, which is so simple. But then again, I find it interesting how players kind of made the simple Agario game much more complicated with all the tricks you can do to become better, and I think that's a cool aspect. Jephthah.io was still immensely popular and got a lot of attention, but it was not as popular as Agario or Slither. In fact, not nearly as popular 
controller, and this would unfortunately maybe foreshadow the decline of IO games. On October 3rd, 2016, Mopio came out, and this is a game that I personally played a lot. It's basically what I built my channel off of. It revolves around being an animal and leveling up, basically evolution, like this video, the evolution of IO games, but it's the evolution of animals, and the goal is to become number one on the leaderboard, like pretty much all IO games. Mopio kind of had that spark of it blowing up and becoming popular like Dieppe.io, Agario, and Slither.io, but it was not nearly as popular as Dieppe and therefore not nearly as popular as Agario and Slither even more. It was definitely the least popular out of all of these games. But then again, when you're comparing it to these giants, then it seems pretty bad, but this was still a popular game, don't get me wrong. This is another game where I don't have the exact release date, but in late 2016, Brains.io came out, and this is a game that a lot of you probably don't know about, but I think the concept is very interesting. It's all about survival. You have to work with other people to either be a zombie and attack the humans or be humans and protect yourself by locking yourself in different areas, blocking it off, using tools to help each other. I mean, I think it's really fun and I'm surprised it didn't blow up more than it did, but this was, believe it or not, a pretty popular game back in the day. In August of 2016, another game with a very new and original original concept came out, Splix.io. This IO game introduced the concept of capturing land or territory and capturing as much of the map as possible. A lot of IO games in the future would mirror this idea, but this game became pretty popular as well, but once again, it wasn't a huge hit. In fact, the rest of the games I'm going to show are pretty popular, or were pretty popular, but not nearly as much as Agar, Slither, or Dieppe. In March of 2017, Mumu.io came out, which had a lot of of features including combat with a bunch of different weapons, building, and more. Skins that players could earn through points and other cosmetics made this game pretty interesting for a lot of people and intriguing to play. In June 2017, Spins.io came out, which was based, of course, off of the fidget spinner trend. This game got a lot of hate on YouTube, but it was very popular for a short amount of time, simply based off of the trend. It's overall a pretty simple game. You've run into other people, take their points. It's pretty self-explanatory. In late 2017, Survive.io came out, which was the first Battle Royale game ever in the IO community, which really sparked a lot of different Battle Royales coming out after that. The gameplay reflected a 2D version of PUBG, which attracted a lot of players, all the different guns, the temporary cosmetics that you could put on um, that help you in your battles, and things such as shields. Being able to play one of the most popular games in a 2D format really made a lot of people want to play this game, especially since, you know, it's just a browser game. Anyone can play it if you have, like, a semi-functioning PC. You don't need a really good PC to play this game. In March 2018, Fortnite came out. Oh, wait, no, that can't be right. <coughs> Excuse me, Fortnite.io or Zomsroyale.io came out. And this was another battle royale, more focused on the aspects of Fortnite, you know, compared to Survive in PUBG. You know, it just reflected Fortnite, even though they're very similar games, both battle royales. This game would quickly develop things such as the battle passes. So uh, just imagine, your PC can't handle Fortnite, and you want to still enjoy the Fortnite trend. Well, you can play Zombs Royale.io for free, get the battle passes, and it's still very fun. The ability to play 2D Fortnite on your browser for free made this game popular. In mid-2018, two mobile games, IO games, on mobile became very popular specifically on these platforms. The first one is Paper2.io, very similar to Splix.io, which you saw earlier in this video. It's funny how something a year later very similar to it could blow up, but this time it's on mobile and it also has skins as you basically achieve things in the game you achieve skins the second one is hold the io which at least has an original concept the goal is to eat as many things as possible and become the biggest black hole in the city and you eventually like eat buildings and stuff it's pretty cool from a game about bigger blobs eating smaller blobs to snakes cutting off other snakes and destroying each other to become the number one to battle royale 2d io games 
This is the history of IO games, the evolution from as far back as 2014 all the way up to today, 2019. Once again, there's so many IO games that have come out throughout the years that influence the evolution of them. So if I missed any or you think there's any important ones that were not in this video and deserve to be, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate it if you are new and enjoyed this video that you subscribe for the latest and greatest IO gaming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching it to the end of this video and for all the support. And I'll see you in the next yeah. one. Peace out. For you, come along and see us